G'day, in today's video, I just wanna run through my experience of uploading to YouTube over the last two years and why I've really enjoyed it and why I think there's heaps of benefits to more people taking the time to pop up videos on gear and discussing anything photo video related to help us all grow. The idea for me to actually bother to spend the time recording and popping videos up on YouTube it took me a while to actually go, hey, I'm gonna do this, but what kind of stemmed me on was I couldn't find much information on a product that I wanted to buy and I kind of had to buy it a bit blind and it finally came and I was like okay look I still can't find many videos on this so I'm going to do a little video just showing the experience I've had with it and what it looks like out of the box and that kind of stuff and the comments I got back from that were really positive and people were thankful and grateful to have had a video online showing that particular product. So with that kind of simplicity, that kind of gave me the motivation to keep kind of progressing and popping videos up of just the gear I've got or the gear I was purchasing and just show the ins and outs of that product. And that by far has been the absolute best part of this journey so far, is just the comments where people let you know that what you've popped up has helped them. And, you know, for me, you know, I often work by myself and with small crews, so knowing that you know, some of the information that I have or the experience that I've had with gear can help someone else out there and worldwide is really rewarding. And that's why I think if you're on the fence about bothering to record YouTube videos and, and pop them up, if you have no expectation of, you know, getting paid for it or getting free gear or, you know, really worried about subscribers and likes and things, yes, probably, you know, mightn't be the best option but if you genuinely just want to help people and think you've got some good information that could be shared and helpful to others then that's absolutely the best reason to do it one of the other things that i've really enjoyed about having the youtube channel is it's made me kind of go into my gear in a bit more detail so when you're trying to explain things on camera not just looking at a product and using it having to think about it and articulate that to someone else and that really makes me go further into the product and and the gear and look into it a bit more and get to know it more so it's particularly when you get a new piece of equipment sometimes you know you feel like you're short of time so you just quickly figure out how to use it and then you just jump straight out into the field and use it on the next job but having a youtube channel and wanting to make a video about it before i use it or within the first couple of uses, it's made me stop and take the time to go through the gear in a bit more detail. So that's absolutely benefited me, but also, yeah, again, that knowledge of knowing that that might help someone else out there. One of the other kind of fun things that I've enjoyed, and I was honestly a little worried about initially is any comments that aren't particularly positive or, you know, even a negative comment, I was worried that, oh, that's going to kind of feel funny and I'm going to be all like, oh, that's comments really crap or whatever. But what I've learned is that the constructive comments or even the negative comments make you stop and analyze and go, oh, hey, OK, did I explain that well? Or, you know, did I miss that part when I was looking at the product and it's really kind of, I've actually taken a lot of value from those constructive comments to make me think about my gear differently and or make me look at how I use the product. Now, the other really beneficial thing is people leave comments saying, hey, what you're doing is one option, but here's another option. And that's just great benefit because someone else using it in a different way can really benefit you. So being open to constructive comments is really important and not just you know bottling it up and getting angry and shutting down it's actually going hey what that person's saying is actually of great value so that surprised me i wasn't expecting to find constructive comments or negative comments valuable but you know that's the beauty of the internet people have other thoughts people use gear in different way and they have different experiences so sharing that and receiving those comments has absolutely been a real benefit to me in the last two years the other really important thing I feel that uh, I would recommend uh, is a mindset to have if starting a YouTube channel is really don't worry about the numbers. Forget subscribers, forget view counts, uh, forget likes. If you feel there's value in the information that you're putting out, someone is going to find that useful. It might be a handful of people, it might be a lot of people. 
But even if you just help one person, it might get them out of a real technical bind with their gear or might help them on a job. That's absolutely a really valuable reason to take the time to put up a YouTube channel. If you're thinking about, you know, fame and fortune and all that kind of stuff, I, I have no idea about that. But if you keep it simple and just have that idea of helping people, I really do think you're going to take a lot of benefit out of that. So I'm going to keep doing YouTube videos while I can and while I have the time. Uh, I've got three young kids and I'm really busy with work, but I like kind of making the time throughout the week or every other week or whenever it is just to fit it in when it can. I've made sure that it's not a stressor. It's not something that is pressing for me to do and I don't want it to be a, a negative for me. So it's when it works, it works. And when I have the time, it's great. But I'm not going to put pressure on myself to make sure that a video needs to come out at a certain time to kind of maximize the new release of a product or whatever. And I think that's the most genuine way to do it. If I've got time to go through it and explain it the way I want to, then that's going to be the most beneficial to someone viewing it. And they're going to take a lot more from that. Now, one of the other dots I connected recently was some of the most beneficial learnings I've had over the last few years is from watching other YouTube channels. Now, it can be from not falling into the trap of hype over a new product, or it can be, you know, a really detailed explanation on a problem they had with a particular piece of gear, which has then saved me having that problem with my gear. It's all those little bits of peer-to-peer -peer learning that I've gotten the most value from. And I'm really grateful that other people have bothered to film and post videos. And, you know, there's varying degrees of effort that gets put in. You know, I consider mine to be quite low effort. You know, I chuck a light on and I record it and then edit it. Other people go through really big, large scenarios and those videos look amazing and I'm grateful for their time doing that. So I just want to take the time to thank anyone who's watched uh, my videos so far in the last couple of years and anyone that's subscribed. Uh, I'm really grateful that you've taken the time to watch a video and anyone that's commented, I've really taken taking great value and motivation out of those comments. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, it's going to be just when I can and all that kind of jazz. But I've got some great thoughts on videos coming up and just different things that I'm experiencing, you know, now that I'm 20 years into my career and just with the different bits of gear and the different learnings that I'm having along the way. So I'm really keen to share those and keep this channel growing. Uh, but I hope you're having a, a bloody fantastic week and uh, we'll keep cracking. Talk to you very soon. Cheers.